Hello, and welcome to episode 34 of MormonCast. My name is Matt Worley, and I'm your host. Today's episode is Elders Quorum Activities, Part 2. Alright, so, I planned this Elders Quorum activity for my Elders Quorum. It's been a while since we've had one. We've had a really hard time getting them together, but we finally planned one. It's for tonight. We were going to have a, a movie night at the, at the ward building, inside the cultural hall. Uh, I was able to get there early and set up the projector and a screen and plug the audio into the cultural hall sound system, and, uh, and it was really cool. You turn off the lights and like it was like being in a, a real movie theater. Uh, it took uh, it took quite a while to to make sure I could get everything to work and to also get everything that I needed in order to, to make it happen. We went out. We got uh, my wife made muddy buddies. We bought a bunch of soda, um, plates and bowls. Uh, we invited everyone who was coming to bring snack foods, because it was going to be more of a snacky thing, you know, eat dinner before you come. Um, what else did we do? We did a lot. We had to reserve the building, um, had to, you know, okay it with my presidency, because I'm only the first counselor, so I've got to bounce everything off my, my Elder Scorn president and the second counselor. Um, we did a lot of, a lot of stuff, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a really cool activity. For the two families that showed up. Yes. Two families showed up. Well, the Elder Scorn president showed up to, to show support, but he was really sick, and so we, we let him go. He he had to go home, but, but only two families came. And to, for those two families, if you're watching this, thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. It's you know it's, it's a lot of work to put together an activity, and it's, it's really disappointing when it's not supported. I feel bad now for the activities that, that I personally didn't attend after going through all the work to set one up and, and not have anyone show up. Um, looking back, in hindsight, uh, we learned a few things from this activity. Uh, we made a few mistakes, so let me grab the big book of mistakes. Alright. Mistake number one. I probably didn't give everyone enough notice. It was about a month ago when we first planned the activity and I made an announcement in Elder Scorn and in front of everybody. But I didn't make any flyers. So that was mistake number one. Not making any flyers. Mistake number two. Not telling the wives about the activity. Yes, elders, brothers, we know we can't trust you to tell your wives about anything going on at church because really you're not going to remember, you're not going to tell them, and you're not going to come. Mistake number three, well, we tried to make up for mistake number three by calling people two days ahead uh, of the event and reminding them. Unfortunately, we spoke to the men again, so word did not get out. Let's see. I think that's about all the mistakes that we made. If you uh, know of any other mistakes, please feel free to let me know. But here's the deal. Next time, for when we plan an activity, or when you plan an activity, things you can do. Make a flyer. Make sure it gets passed around the Relief Society. Make a sign-up sheet for desserts and snacks. Make sure that, that gets passed around the Relief Society. Third, you could always get the activity put in your uh, Sunday program. That always helps. Uh, make announcements regularly, like every Sunday. Um... Go to each person's house and, and bang on their door and do your home and visiting teaching and let them know then, too. Those are some really good ways to let people know about activities. Um, also, if you know about an activity, or if you hear about one, pull out your calendar. Write it down. Take note of it. Ask for time off work. Put it on your calendar at home. Support your activities. People go through a lot to, to put these things together. It's a lot of work to... to Contact everybody and reserve the building and set everything up and make everything nice and pretty and make everyone comfortable. Really, it's not that hard to go to a church activity. And lastly, as part of this episode, I'd like to uh, put a plug in for a new podcast coming out called Mormon Cast East. This one's being put on by uh, a fellow brother in the video biz and in the church. From back east, he's putting on a, a show called Mormon Cast East. Please go check it out. You can look him up on MySpace right now. I don't think he has a website quite yet. Uh, also, 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the show, send me an email at whirly.matt at gmail.com. Visit the website, mormoncast.org. And, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching the show, and uh, we'll see you guys next week.